Wow, YouTube. <laughs> Can't believe that I am live on YouTube. Amazing. Let's see if I can also go live on Facebook at the same time. Five more minutes. So, yeah, YouTube people, um, my name is Sheila and I'm an artist based in North Sydney. I started doing live painting on my Facebook page. It's called Sheila Tan Art and um, I'm trying out uh, um, YouTube for the first time. And in the past couple of uh, days, I have painted uh, these pieces live. So this is like a colorful silhouette. And yesterday I painted an abstract, an abstract piece. And today I'm going to start with a blank canvas. I'm gonna do another abstract piece. Uh, I know nobody's watching right now, but this is, because I didn't promote it or anything, I didn't know if it would work. Um, but yeah, for those who will be watching the replay, that's a bit of an intro. So welcome. Just gonna give it a couple more minutes before I go live on, um, on Facebook. In the meantime, I'm going to let my Instagram know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> YouTube Live is also working. Um what I'm really hoping is that I'll be able to do both YouTube and Facebook at the same time. All right. I'm just going to have a sip of the coffee, play some music, and then we will go live officially on Facebook. Let's see. So I'm just going to play Spotify until um, <laughs> it finds a music match and uh, blocks the sound. But I have to taste I hope everyone is doing okay in Sydney. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because we are in lockdown and also because I'm now a full-time artist and I don't have a job to tie me down so I can go live at 10.30 a.m. or any time I want, really. I realize I need some decent sound. Going live on Facebook. You and I and nobody else. Hey gang, good morning. Happy Friday here in Sydney. Thanks for joining me again. I'm actually live on YouTube as well. Not that I promoted it, so no one's going to see it. So <laughs> doesn't matter as long as it works. Um, so today 
I'm starting. I'm starting with this uh, blank canvas, and um, I'm going to paint another abstract. Um, and yesterday I mentioned that I was inspired by all the views I've been seeing and um, I saw some really nice views yesterday. Um, yeah, so it was like grey, blue, purple skies and just like a hint of orange um, for the sunset. So that's going to be my inspiration. I mean, I'm not going to try and replicate the exact view that I saw. Um, but, yeah, I that's the kind of colour palette I'm going to use. So I've prepared a lot of white um, and also just some black and blue. Yeah, that, there's a lot of dry paint there, red and yellow. And then I've got these kitty paints that I used yesterday as well, just the yellow and um, highlighter yellow and orange. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I am doing. I'm just going to quickly do a share. Ooh. I'm just going to quickly share this on my timeline, guys. I'm really just, you know, learning all this technicality. Um, it is a bit awkward, but whatever. <laughs> all right. So let's get started. I'm just playing a random playlist. Hopefully you like it. I'm also hoping that my sound's better because it was shockingly bad the last couple of days. I was just using the laptop microphones. Today I've connected up my blue microphone. Got that from JB Hi-Fi for like 80 bucks. All right, enough talking. Let's get painting. Okay, I'm going to put my mobile. Okay. Oh, wait, I want to show you very quickly some of the views I saw. So, how beautiful is that? Just a collection of views that I um, enjoyed this week. Just that water. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Um, I just love reflections. You know, I, I want to paint a body of work that's all about... Um, water reflections and streetscapes in Sydney. Um, but yeah, look at that. This is what I had in mind. See those grey skies and that really vibrant highlighter orange. Of course, like photos don't do justice um, to what you see in real life in nature, but that's my inspiration for today. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to move this a bit closer. I really need to work on my setup, but we will figure that out. It's all about progress um, each day at a time. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. I'm going to grab another painting palette. Ooh, I like this song. Let me put it up a bit. So I'm going to get my white paint. So I want to put a bit of water on this. I want this to be a bit wet. I'm just going to lather on the white paint, like, generously. Ooh, look at that. So much fun. Oh. If you've never painted before, I highly recommend that you just splash some paint around. Even if you don't know what you're doing. This is such a nice feeling, just having this like soft, lovely paint um, feeling that texture. It's so good. Okay. 
So I hope you guys had a good morning. I know some of you are working from home and tuning into the office. I appreciate you um, joining my live if you're able to. Um, I had a great morning. I did a killer leg workout in my gym. And uh, I feel okay, but I know I'm going to be really sore tomorrow. <laughs> Being sore is just a part of life. But yeah, like I um, said before, the lockdown got me down like everybody else. I'm human and I feel a bit robbed of control and um, really good advice I got was to focus on the things that I can control, like my health, fitness, and in my case, um, having a consistent accountability with my art and that's what I'm doing. So I've committed to going live every day um, for the duration of the lockdown and, you know, maybe I'll come up with like a regular schedule after lockdown because I do work from home as an artist. Um, it's nice to set aside, you know, maybe 30, 40 minutes to do this um, with you guys. I've already spilled some paint on the floor and I'm going to wipe it up because I live in a rental. I can't be having acrylic paint drying. <laughs> Better hands up that. Okay, so I'm going to start painting a little bit of blue and um, really make up that sky. A little bit of black so I can make some grays. I don't want it to be too gray. Mm -hmm. Here in Sydney, so we know it's going to rain over the weekend. It's already looking quite grim outside. It hasn't started pouring in North Sydney yet, but waiting for that to happen. Um, so I'm going to be a little bit mopey. <laughs> um, I won't, but I'll, I'll try not to be mopey. I'm not a fan of rainy weather. Uh, I used to live in London for years. And the weather really got to me. I thought, this is such a cool place. It's a shame about the weather. It's so grey and visible. And I remember getting off the plane after a trip from the European city and coming home to rain. And I just thought, I have to go back home to Sydney because the weather's better. <laughs> Hey yeah, guys, this is an abstract and if you watched yesterday's painting, I'm not really attached to an outcome and there's something so freeing and liberating about being unattached and just going with the flow. And I think that's really, really, really important. And what I love about painting is it just brings me to the present, the present moment. Um, you may have heard that painting can be, some have said that painting can be quite meditative and uh, yeah, I agree 100%. It's so lovely to just forget about everything that painting. Whatever creative hobby you want to take up, you know, um, it's nice to bring yourself into the present. Just using this brush more. What I'm feeling right now. Oh, 
watching us. Happy New Year. to do a large piece and we do have a roll of canvas so I might do that and I might do an Instagram live I haven't tried that yet seeing outside right now. going at the same time as Facebook. Pretty stoked about that. Pretty efficient if you ask me. Hmm. 
see me getting paint on my hands already. Should be careful because I met this really amazing artist. His name is Graham um, Stevenson and he's the founder of Color In Your Life TV show. It's a TV show about artists and um, they filmed me recently uh, and my episode goes live on the 6th of August. Um, so, yeah, if you want to join, I'm doing a watch party. Um, but, yeah, about Graham, he unfortunately is suffering from heavy metal poisoning, cadmium poisoning, because cadmium is a metal found in paint. Um, and he never, in his 40 years, his 40 year career as an artist, he just never wore gloves. He used to apparently put paintbrush in his mouth, with paint on. Um, and yeah, he used to love making a mess. And um, yeah, eventually, you know, that heavy metal poisoning caught up with him. So us artists have to be really careful. Uh, I am looking at other brands. Um, that are non-toxic. I will be putting my order into Hydrocryl soon. So like this acrylic paint brand that is not toxic. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to add some paint. And, sorry, red and yellow paint. Let's see how we go. creating here but like a horizon maybe okay, I'm not sure I should have put it there um, I like this really cool thing about composition um, and what is aesthetically pleasing to the eye and it's all to do with proportions called the golden rule um, or the Fibonacci series it's um, a pattern that occurs in nature and you actually know and look for that pattern subconsciously and that's how we judge if something is aesthetically pleasing and it's really interesting because when you apply it to composition um yeah your painting for some reason just becomes more appealing and uh, I don't know, maybe I've done it wrong. So the proportion of Fibonacci or the golden rule is, um, you know, the length of 1 to 1.61. That's it in a nutshell anyway. Um, but, no, I cannot wait to apply that principle into my painting. Um, I follow an artist named Andrew Tischler and he is really amazing. He's an amazing portrait, realistic artist and that's, you know, a skill that I want to level up myself. So something that I'm planning to invest in, especially during lockdown um, and because, uh, you know, being committed to my um, duty as an artist is to level up um, for the people who you know buy my art and um, yeah art collectors and, and clients you know I feel yes it comes down to what sells in the market but I really believe that people connect with your energy and it comes through in your art so the more I level up the more energy I can create and the more value I can give. So, yeah, he's an artist that I will gladly follow. I considered going back to art school, but I'm not going to do that because it's a rip-off. And um, just like any anything higher education, it's like they give you bare minimum for <laughs> a very high cost. Can you tell I went to university? 
I think I poured way too much orange in there. I'm not going to use all of it. Anyway, sorry for that little spiel. This is me talking to no one. <laughs> I can preserve these paints anyway because I've got cool wrap. Use a fresh palette knife and mm, I like that. Dirty, but we see. Hmm, does that look like a straight line, guys? Spanish, but I love Latin music. <laughs> the most random playlist ever. my pajamas.
Oh, off my orange already. Sure, I like that. short attention span and um, I'm mindful of that. I want people to watch my life so they feel a better. We get it down to 24 minutes. But we've gone for like guys that is pretty much it for today's live thank you for joining me this is the result of my painting um yeah a bit random but pretty cool i'm gonna um work on it some more after this and see how we go thanks again for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day and weekend Thank you. Bye. Also signing off on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Looks like there's one person here, whoever you are. Thanks for your support. This is my first ever YouTube live stream and this is the resulting abstract. Thank you so much. Bye.